Today, I want to teach you how you can set up a SOX5 proxy from Dishful SOX. So in case you want to use it to open Fiverr account, PayPal account and the likes. So this is how you can set it up. So I will show you how you can sign up, pay for it and set it up on your browser. So let's dive right in. Okay, so you go on your Chrome and search for Dishful SOX. You can just enter it to Google. Then you see the first one on the list, which is dishfulsocks.net. So that's the one you recognize it with this logo that is showing this red logo. Just just click on it. So from here you need to sign up if you don't have an account. So I will just click on sign up and enter the details. Your username. I'll put Fermi Victor email. So once you're done filling the details, you click on the continue button. As you can see, registration successful. Please log in. So I need to enter the same details. Log in. So I click on continue. As you can see now, the menu on the side panel have changed, which means I've logged in. If you click on the profile, you see the login details. So just click on buy socks. Yeah, you'll be able to see the pricing plans. We see the daily plans and all the plans. I think the best for us now is this daily fifty for eight dollars, which will expire in the next thirty days. So it is for thirty days, eight dollars, and we'll be giving daily 50 socks so if you want to test you can just go for the one day package which is one dollar and they will give us 50 socks for the day so let's go with this one because in my next video we're using this to create a fiber account but for now so let's go with the second on the list so we need to select the payment method we want to use so i'd advise you use litecoin since seems to be the best you can also use other ones if you can afford the transfer fee but litecoin has very affordable fee the fee is small so i click on litecoin so and now i have this page so i have to pay within two hours i think that's okay so all you have to do now is to copy this payment address so I've copied it. That's their light gun address. So as you can see here, I need to pay 0.11562. That's the amount that I need to pay in Litecoin. So and this is the address I'm paying to. So copy. I've copied the address. So I need to go to my Binance or any other crypto app that you are using. I'll go to my Binance. So I only have USDT. I'll need to convert, let's say, around $10 or $8 or $9 to Litecoin. So as to use that Litecoin to, to make payment. Okay, right from this home page, you can search for Litecoin. As you can see, a Litecoin versus USDT. That's the one I need to pick and I want to buy. So on this convert page, I need to select USDT because that's where I have my money. Then I want to buy Litecoin. Litecoin, as you can see, I'll click this. I would like to exchange $20 to Litecoin. So I click on preview conversion and I'm converting 20 USDT to Litecoin. And this is the amount that we're getting so i click on convert completed so i have litecoin now so i need to go back to the home page uh, wallet from wallet and i want to transfer no, not transfer i want to withdraw it will be in form of withdrawal so i click on withdraw I'll select litecoin send via crypto network and i'll need to paste the address that i copied here this address that I've copied, I need to paste it right here. And the network will be Litecoin, of course. So, and the amount that I'm entering, I can also copy the amount right here and paste it here. So, as you can see, the USD equivalent, which is 8.46. I'm supposed to send this amount, but if you look at the receiving amount, it is still less than the amount I'm supposed to send. I need to factor in the fee so that this receive amount has to be this or slightly higher than this. That's when they will acknowledge the payment because it has to be this that they will receive. They have to receive up to this amount. So a lot of people used to make this mistake and they will just enter the amount just like this, but they won't consider the amount that will be received. So we need to factor in that and ensure we calculate the fee and the amount they will receive is higher than or equal to this. One, 11.56 So 11.56, so let's say 57 here. Yeah okay as you can see now 11.56.3 i think that's best i think the fee is 0 0.0010 i think that's the fee so this is 11562 i think we are good to go let's click on withdraw and we confirm the withdrawal the withdrawal is in process we need to wait for it to say completed then we check this to see if the payment has been acknowledged we need to wait for a while so the payment has been completed and as you can see on the 
page here your order has been activated please check on your profile so let's click ok and check the profile so you come to socks list click on socks list and you see this page so you can only see this page because we've subscribed to one month and it's successful so these are the ips that are available so we can select from here and you see the country united states united states united states netherlands so different countries so on your chrome you need to download one of these two chrome extensions either proxy empire manager or proxy switchy omega so you need one of these chrome extension to connect your sox5 to your chrome browser so that you can browse through the sox5 so i will go with this proxy switchy omega because it has more than over 2 million users and a lot of ratings already so i've added it to my chrome extension so if i come right here as i'll see it here under the chrome extension so i'll click on it and you see proxy so i'll click on the word proxy as you can see here this is it right here and on this proxy you need to change the protocol from http to sox5 so that's the first thing you need to do as you can see on the phone on the ip they only reveal three figure and the rest are hidden because once you click on it it will appear as if you've used it they'll believe you've used it that's why you reveal it so as you can see here i only reveal only one and it can't one as used so only click the one that you want to use right away so i need to enter this number yeah six five two one three two one two five two so you will stop where you have this colon where you have this colon that's where you will stop and the rest after this colon is your port number so you enter it as your port number then once you've done that you click apply changes and your changes will be saved so let us see our ip has connected to you yeah, as you can see now we are browsing from united states which means our sox5 is currently activated and is working so we are browsing through the sox5 right now so is it it is as simple as that so if you find this video helpful please share it to your friends and family so that they can learn how to do this too in my next video i'll be showing you how you can create a perfect working foreign fiverr account using the socks 5 we've set up today so make sure you watch my next video and please subscribe to my channel and see you Bye.